Testing, one, two, three. This is a sound test with me. Hey guys, this is V, uh, testing the sound quality of the stream, one, two, three, along with the music. Testing one, two, three, my sound is being blown out with the music, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, I added a gain along with the music. Testing one, two, three, lowering gain a little bit, lowering it a bit more. Oh, that sounds good. We're almost in accordance. How are you guys doing? We're going to start soon. Final test with along with music, how we doing? Man, that's low. It's like uh, all in between low and high. What do you guys think? How does that sound? I think it sounds good to me. I'll speak for myself. Alright, let's move into camera mode.
Testing one, two, three, I added a noise suppression. Let's see if that helps. I want my sound to sound like butter. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> Twitch has this uh, remote control that I can watch the whole chat, which is cool. I need to log into VNC eventually so I can share the stuff with you. Uh, let me do that now. And I'm eating my breakfast, so that's the exciting part. You get to see me munch. which will let me share my screen with you. I, uh, I applaud my brother for helping me out with the, with the streaming because I didn't know that I could connect this way. Uh-oh, computer's not connecting. I think I need to find out what my IP address is before we can start on this. Yeah, timed out. Oh man, this is always a problem. Can I get a stream with no problems today? Let's see, properties. You guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to. Oh, it's using the wrong IP again. Why? I save it. I should have saved it. It's kind of dumb that it didn't do that. Remember everything, please. Okay. Alright. Cool, that didn't crash. Awesome. Good shit. <laughs> Good stuff, I mean. <laughs> Sup, guys? Good music is playing. I can't tell if everything is cool. I already tested it out the best I could. <laughs> My uh, brother plays the the stuff while it's on the PlayStation. So I switched it up to performance mode and lowered the bit rate and the uh, frames per second. I hope that's uh, satisfactory to your liking. I'm gonna mess around with it a bit more later. And, um, cool, the chat's here. Great. So I can chat here or anywhere. That's good. So, welcome to the stream. Guys, this is the art duplication segment, and I've already spent 20 minutes trying to set up. I'm still learning how to use this tool. The art diet. It comes in four parts. I apologize because I'm eating. <laughs> this is <coughs> really hard to do everything, but I'll manage. I'll even give you some little lights on the side so you guys can see <coughs> what I look like what do I look like actually okay I look good all right excellent is there a performance button <laughs> No, no performance button. Um, I've always known things about myself. I've just chosen to not recognize it's them. It's too bad. 
I'll have to figure out how to do that on the remote. There's a, a little remote here that is really cool. You can just press it and things will happen on your screen. I kind of like that idea. Okay, back to diet. <laughs> we need to start drawing. Let's do this together. Hopefully, this time the music won't be blown out. And we're gonna have a, a, an awesome time together. So, so far so good. The stream is not lagging. We're in good shape. My iPad is still charging, so I won't have too much reference. So I'm gonna have to grab the reference from the browser for duplication. But uh, for you to know that, we need to go into duplication. So let's do this. <laughs> Duplication. This is all about learning to observe accurately. There are four m important tools to help you not only observe but to self-correct. This is a section of the diet plan. Three other parts are these four boxes. The diet plan is all about uh, spreading out your work across a week. I'm not a teacher. I'm not planning to teach, I'm just doing this diet stuff for myself. Uh, you guys are here along for the ride. If you want to also do this diet stuff, please feel free. I'm going to link the website in the chat so it's part of uh, this conversation. So feel free, uh, feel free to jump in and um, pick out any one of these things. Um, as a tool to improve your art. So let's do this together, okay? We're on this journey. And uh, Ruben Laura is the inspiree, and he has a couple of courses already out. He's working on a few other new things here. I posted my streaming schedule. So, so far, I'm living up to that. Okay, so we're gonna do this together and try to stream at this at this stage. And if you guys can't make it, you can try to watch it later. I'm sharing it in four places right now. I found a couple other places to do it uh, with this thing called Restream IO. It's pretty cool. I need to um, I need to link it for you guys actually. Let me just link that so in case you guys want to stream like me to multiple places uh, let me see how do I do this there's a referral program uh, here yeah if you guys want to join up uh, join up with me go ahead and uh, go to restream.io and you can you can send this thing to twitch where am I sending it to uh, twitch uh, Facebook Periscope there's so many like you can add it you can send it to many places. So that's my quick plug in case you guys want to help me out. There's a lot of a lot of places you can stream to, and you you only need to create an account with a lot of these things. Okay, back to duplication. Let's stay focused. V, we need to do this together, otherwise we're gonna start getting distracted, like OCD distraction. Not good. Right. Duplication. Okay, duplication is the ability to accurately draw what you see. This skill, this is a skill that can constantly seem out of reach. After a period of frustration, many artists conclude that they just aren't talented enough to draw well. But that is a misconception. Drawing accurately is not something you are born with. It is a skill like any other and just needs the right tools and guidance. Most importantly, it's important to believe, it's vital to believe, that sounds way better. As a first step, try forgetting about learning to draw accurately and focus on observing accurately. So the good news is that there are four powerful observation tools that are not subject to opinion or preference, like math equations. They just, they either add up or they don't. So, plumb lines, angles, right, distances, and negative shapes. I'm using this whole thing as a reference, and we're just gonna just go at it. So before I go and jump into this stuff, I'm gonna quickly head over to my stream and make sure I still sound good. 
because in the past it did not sound good it sounded crazy so let me jump over to YouTube and see how everything is sounding for a second and then I will continue with our program so let's see All right, it sounds great, so let's keep going. Okay. All right, so plumb lines. In order for us to do plumb lines, we need to find some sort of topic that we're interested in. Um, you guys, please choose whatever you want to practice to identify plumb lines. I'll tell you exactly what plumb lines are, and if you don't want to hear it from me, you can also visit rubenlaura.com forward slash diet and just choose what you want to work on. So that's that will um, get you like you know at your own pace. So I have Pinterest somewhere here. Let's open her up. No, let's not open her up. Let's open it up. <laughs> it's not a it's not a battleship like Captain Kirk. We need to open her up. <laughs> no, let's not do that. <laughs> So I created for myself, but I guess it's not really for myself. I'm sharing it with everybody. Uh, a famous rock formation collection. Uh, if you guys want to follow um, rock studies like me, um, similar to FZD school, his recommendation is to start simple. Please, by all means, I will share the link. You guys can follow the board and, and practice the rocks that I've saved here. Let me just put that in the chat for ya. All right, it's in there now. Everyone's got it. Nobody's gonna lose a link. I'm gonna pick something from here. You guys go wherever you want to to get an image so you can practice the art duplication topic. Then we're gonna go in back to Ruben Laura's site and we're gonna exp try to figure out together how to do this thing. Every time I do it, I learn something new. There's something different about it that I didn't understand before. So let's jump in and pick out a rock. I was working on this one before and I forgot to save it. Let's go open this up. And it's totally okay to save this image as long as you are not sharing it on the internet copy this and make a new uh, illustration here uh, what's today today is duplication right today we are doing duplication together duplication and today is the so oh, man is there another word for today what's the what's the this morning <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are doing some art this morning I like the song this is such a good idea to have a headset. It saves so much time. Release the bunnies. That's my current placeholder to come up with a fantasmial name. I don't even know if that's a word. What is it? Duplication. And today's dates. I encourage everybody to label their stuff in case you you are gonna go and share it with somebody. Everything is signed and ready to go. You know? Okay, enough with the typos. V. What's going on here? Maybe I should start drinking coffee. And then everything will come back to normal. Let's hide this sucker. Put this over here and stretch them out. Uh, nope, doesn't want to stretch. Yeah, okay, in case anyone has a question, this is Clip Studio Paint. Uh, whatever the highest level of Clip Studio Paint this is. Okay, so first step, light table. I don't care for the colors right now. We're gonna be focusing on plumb lines, so there's no colors. Okay, so how the heck do you do plumb lines? How do we do this together, guys? Let's uh, zoom in on this and quickly go through the bolts. Just 
checking my stream that there's no dropped frames. This seems to be the right way to go. Next time I'll try uh, 60 frames per second and see if that uh, works out for us. We have 30 minutes left for today's stream and then V needs to go to work. And I don't know what you guys need to do, but let me know. Plumb lines are what builders have used for centuries to make sure elements line up vertically with each other. In the simplest form, tie a heavy object to the end of the string and let it hang. You've got a perfectly vertical or plumb line. Okay, I'm just reading off the bolds, but you guys could zoom in and read the important stuff. Well, the, the buffer. Identify two things in your source material that line up with each other. Don't worry, I'll let you know how to do this and then you guys can figure it out with me together. Next on your drawing, draw a single straight line. So let's look at this lady playing soccer. Football for those Russian peeps. So her leg to her hip creates a horizontal line. Yes, you could make horizontal lines. Yes, you could also make vertical lines. You could combine them. Why are we doing this? So we can identify how things relate to each other. It will help us later when we're going to draw our cage for our drawing. I got to remember to look at you in that little shiny little dot over there. Man, I wish they put the camera at the top, but this is what I got. So let's keep going. Stay positive. Stay classy. Okay, elbow. Let me make my mouse bigger. I think there's a, a setting like that cursor. Settings. Because if I don't do that, I think I just lost some of you with the stream, but let's see if it's okay. Cursor. Yeah, this way you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if the stream is still going. Yeah, we did we did lose some of you. Let me disconnect. Gotta remember to keep an eye on VNC because it, it likes to do this stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Next on your drawings, draw a single straight line. Okay, what is that? Um, there's an area here and an area here. Straight line down, touch the knee, touch the finger. We have a plumb line, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. That's from somebody I watch on YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Uh, it's like a guru for being a gentleman or like dressing up or everything man. But uh, let's keep going. Yeah, so identify other things. Hip, hip to shoulder, elbow to uh, another place in the hip that I don't know what it's called. Kneecap to kneecap. These things line up, so we're going to identify the same thing in our drawing. Okay, good, still have the VNC uplink. Let's switch to the good old bamboo. I'm just keeping it simple guys, real simple. Also I heard that this is better for your posture from uh, Mark uh, Mark Block, Black uh, on YouTube, also somebody that I follow, uh, no worries, uh, no worries V because you don't know the name, I'm not worried but you guys are probably worried like what the hell is he talking about. Okay, so before you start, just, you know, doodle a little bit, get your hands warmed up. There's a, a tracing exercise that I do on Thursday with you all. Um, we're going to do it together <clears throat> to warm up our hands. I'm losing my voice. I think I should take a class on how to not lose my voice. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to sound like the Batman. Or, the, or that dude with the steam coming out of his face, underneath his face. Yeah, so just uh, do some of these uh, things like this to uh, warm up your hands. And once you're done warming up, uh, let's start. Let's start doing our business. No chat yet, okay. Does this thing have a chat? Yes, it does. Oh, but I can only see one chat, okay. So I need to download another app to see the other chat too. So it's okay if I put it here for now. 
Oh, welcome guys, whoever's watching, welcome, welcome. Uh, and I see Sad Desk Kitty, thank you for joining. I need to figure out how to tell Streamlabs to uh, welcome you guys too, to help me out a little bit, to make it interesting. But here, anyway, let's draw a point, let's draw a point, we're on point. And uh, if you can't get the vertical line, rotate your canvas. I'm like trying to get it like this. Still no good. Rotate it a bit more. Loosen up and draw from the shoulder. There you go. So these two line up perfectly. What about this side? Cool. Lines up too. So we know that these two are basically in the same playing area. Okay. see what else lines up does this line up with uh, the mountain no good try to get it straight of course you could use the shift key and um, this you could do this of course you could do that but I, I could see that these two line up okay cool so let's pan over what else can we identify? Do, do I know there's a tree here. Where's this tree line up? Lines up here. The cool thing about rocks, guys, is, um, ladies and gents uh, of all ages, <laughs> uh, is uh, you could get it wrong and no one's gonna know the difference. No one's gonna spend the time measuring out rocks. But I am, but, but they won't. So you're good. That's why rocks. All right, let's keep going before I say something else obnoxiously funny. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. I am looking for other things that line up. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna draw it and see if there's anything here. Yeah, just uh, keep going. The more you identify, the better. Don't stop. Share your progress in the chat. Can't, I don't even know if you could share a screenshot. Guys, do you know how to do that? I don't know how to do that. Very sad. Okay. This uh, little rock over here lines up too. It's not as important. Um, let's see what else. All right, that's enough for now. If we don't see any yet, that's fine. <clears throat> as we go through the other three tools, we'll find some more. it yep I lost the stream again I don't know why VNC keeps doing that but this is how we correct it I gotta restart it each time okay all right so we covered plumb lines uh, let's go to the very end real quick just to show you why we need to do this we're gonna create a cage like this after we do all the four steps so let's get excited and uh, I don't know if we'll have enough time to use the cage quick tip after you have that cage side to side on the screen and you could just look at it and it, since the shapes are so simple you could just replicate it over of course you don't have to do that you could just sketch on top of it it's your cage do whatever you want with it right and make it your own okay angles angles are exactly the same as plumb lines but they are at an angle I know <laughs> here's how to use it all right on your source material identify or draw an angled line that describes the edge of a form 
try to notice this angle line, how this angled line, this is important, relates to the existing plumb line. If needed, guys, identify new plumb, plumb lines to, to understand its location and direction, okay? All right. Okay, I thought I could, I could uh, go down on this one, on that screen, on VNC. I guess I can't, which is fine. On your drawing, try your best to draw a corresponding line that matches the angle and position of the line on your source material. Guys, have you heard of Ruben Laura? <laughs> this stuff is good. You'll see why in a moment. Look, check this out. Uh, we have our plumb lines. We're already building up a cage on this soccer player. I know there's a lot of them. This is very overwhelming, but let's let's uh, sort of zoom in on this. This is as far as my zoom will go. I apologize. There's a plumb line here. There's a plumb line here. Check this out. It connects these two points. We got an angle. Same thing here. Plumb line, angle. It's it's great. Let me know if I'm doing this wrong. We're doing this together. Check this out. Uh, same thing on her foot. Goes from here. Another plumb line over here. We have another angle. We have an accord. This is this is something. And you could just build out a cage that makes sense. This is a functional cage. It's wrapping around the subject, whatever you're making. You could do it for anything. I'm doing it for rocks. I don't see why I can't. Um, I mean, he doesn't say you can't, so you guys could tell me, you know, you can't, but I'm still going to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's, let's check the chat. Anyone got anything? All right, no problem. Uh, welcome, Commander. Welcome, Princess. All right. Let's keep going if you're joining late. I will try to... Oh, yes. How do I deal with late people? Um, I do have a, a description of what I'm doing on my website. Let's go there for a second. My stream crashed again. Let's open her up. Mom, BNC, how do you guys share another computer? Live streaming. It's not updated yet, but I have my live streaming page here. I need to change it up for Twitch. I used to do a meetup called Aspiring Artists. Now I am doing Twitch, but we're still running another meetup, so it's kind of confusing, but... I can explain it later. So let me put that in the chat for the moment. So yeah, all the details for people who are not sure what I'm doing are in the restream for those who are joining a little bit late. No problem. Uh, you can ask your quick questions in the chat too and we'll keep it moving. Uh, please tell me if the music is too loud because it is in my headphones. <laughs> I gotta lower it a tad bit. Okay. Let's keep going. I, I apologize, I saw a few people join in, so I just wanna catch them up to speed. Angles, let's go to our whatever paper, what, are, what you are drawing on, and keep on identifying things. So we're gonna add some angles. So how do we do that? Um, we need a new layer, right? Okay, got our mouse. Uh, fade this one out a bit so it doesn't get too much in our way um, it's good to have it, everything faded out so it doesn't distract you all right so let's see if we could use what we have panning if we don't have enough we probably have to add some more let's see what angles can we identify here's one we're probably not going to see that many because I didn't add enough plums. But here's one. And here's another. And I'm going to try to do that better. Going to do that better. There. Going to do it better for you guys. Have a nice presentation. 
So these, uh, this area right here is very close to this. I, I would even say that they're overlapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that this is a plug. Okay, so these are the angles that I see to build up my cage. Um, when we do tracing on Thursday, you're going to see that we're going to also do simplification. We're going to identify basic shapes. No one's going to try to remember this. Uh, you want to try to have memories of these things. Like if you want to build a image library I think this is how you do it correct me if I'm wrong but doing these studies you can basically have a connection with this Arizonian rock that I, I pulled from somewhere uh, from Pinterest right yeah please use Pinterest and Google uh, okay so as I am doodling here I'm trying to see if I can build out a few more plumb lines that will give us some more angles. So let's see what lines up with what. So like over here at the middle of this point. So let's go back to our plumb line and say we want to identify where this bush starts and where it ends. Uh, that's too far down around, around here. So in the middle of this um, it like falls you could kind of see that it's going down at this point uh, at that white dot so like okay um, I need to build out this cage so let me draw this horizontal plumb line what does that give us now that gives us uh, a layer that we need to rename so angle so I don't screw this up and this is a line let's see keeping looking uh, no well not line plumb line I'm just gonna call it plums like the food uh, okay so I have 10 minutes left <laughs> time is of the essence we but we're gonna do this okay let's see how we're doing on the, on the chat oh we got a few other people welcome yeah let's do this streamers idla idol Laura welcome Laura welcome guys Where else can I identify an angle? I'm gonna try to do a few more for you. Really pull this one out. Magic out of a hat. Here, I see one. Check this out. We got one right here. I try to make it straight. All right. With intention, we're gonna tell where things are. So this is a plumb line here because um, at this point where this boulder starts, it also cuts right into the bottom of the other boulder, so that's important. So what I could do with this now is I could draw an angle. So you don't have to identify all your plumb lines, you can do this as you go. See, this is a plumb line here. Uh, sorry, an angle here. And uh, there's also an angle here. Cool. I'm going to keep going because I want to show you all the tools, but you need to minus all my technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream. I apologize. 30 minutes. I know. It's so crazy. I got to get better at this. So hopefully after a number of iterations, we'll be flying, you know? Okay. We got some, we got some good stuff. Now what? How do we move on? The next thing is distances. We move on by going back to uh, Ruben Laura's site. Let's see, we got any chatters? Nope, no chatters. All right, I guess it's, you know, no questions, everyone got, gets everything. Comparing distances between elements helps us maintain correct proportions. Oh man, he said the proportions, That's that's hard. Who wants to deal with proportions? So how do we do it? Take specific measurements. The unit measure of other parts of the drawing. On your drawing, make and compare corresponding measurements. So what does all of this mean? One and a half heads, three heads, 
Okay, let's zoom in on this uh, soccer player again. Uh, my stream crashed. Let's uh, restart the VNC again. So we can see what he is showing you. Okay. So I'm going to use this device. No, I can't use it because you can't see it. One head one head horizontally vertically it actually goes in any direction you want try to stay along the areas that you used your duplication techniques it'll help you in the long run because you're gonna you're gonna need those tools to build out your cage and once you have your cage you can use those tools to build out your final shape your final sketch and it's again this is all a final sketch we're not even talking about production quality we're just understanding how the subject works so let's keep going together on this one head how many heads does it go down to the knee two shoulder about one her hair is one her shoe is one cool so the exciting part is how I break this down on my image right and it's gonna be always a different image but the schedule is gonna repeat every week so hopefully that will be exciting. So we're back on Clip Studio for a sec. And let's make another uh, layer. And we're going to call this distance. Got six minutes left. Peeps. Okay. Let's connect Wacam back. So, right all right so what I did before when I was practicing uh, I want to identify some sort of shape that's already you know part of part of the cage that I was building out so the, the subject in here is possibly this rock in the back and you can also decide what the shape of subject is because at the end of the day no one's gonna really know it's a rock so it's okay but there are, like, if you're drawing a character, you probably need to be more specific there. Okay. So, I'm going to use this technique. You know, you hold your pencil out and you try to divide it up. So, you might not see what I'm doing unless I turn my screen. So, let's, let's see if that actually works. I'm just kind of nervous that this computer is going to fall on the floor. My other laptop... So let's see, how many of these big giant rocks at the top fill up the bottom space? One, two, about three. So two at the bottom. So let's uh, quickly draw the spot uh, on the bottom that identifies somewhat of the size. We're gonna do a guess and then, then we'll work our way down. So let's try this again, one bad guess see I'm off by like 25% so I need to go around here and now I'm just gonna do it do my eraser that is huge for some reason and I'm using the wrong eraser let's try to open up my lid what is this thing called it's like a, a quick access bar okay I don't know why it's not here Okay, so that, that seems right. Let's just double check. One, two, right? Perfect. Let's uh, let's check the bottom again. One, two. Yeah, that's great. So this whole thing is, oh, I'm not using the eraser anymore. I'm not in Kansas. What's going on? Don't lose it. So the total height of this uh, thing is uh, three. Uh, you guys check yours. Double check. Clip Studio is crashing or saving something. I'm just gonna do this kind of thing so it's not too uh, too strong for my eyeballs. Okay, cool. So this is three. And you can just write three for the for the height total get like doodle on top no one's gonna care this is all for you so how you do it is up to you all right 
What else we got here? What about that boulder on the big right side? It's the thing that is so close to you and it kind of, on the bottom right hand corner, it kind of has this blurring effect, which is cool. I like that. You can't really tell with the blue layer, but it gets fuzzy on the bottom right. See, let me know if you guys see that. All right, so let's see. How, how tall is this sucker? We're, we're gonna um, start from up here. So if we were to draw like a shape around it, how many of these boulders on the top? do it for me let's see one one so it's about here one this looks like uh, like 60% so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a 60% and this is one whole boulder so we're just doing big broad measurements for now we're not dividing anything we're not taking a half there are other areas like the on the bottom left here I'm trying to stay within my camera that show the ground plane that's at an angle like this so i'm gonna just show you what i'm talking about this area here how big is this spot because this is also important i'm trying to identify the big shapes first and then work into detail i think that's how they do painting too Maybe someone could correct me. So how big is that spot? And it actually crawls up. Like you could see that this whole area kind of, it's this whole spot. So we could, we could go as far as that. So let, let's just see. One. So, uh, I think if we were to take this spot from this spot, is that, is that right? Yeah, it's uh, pretty damn close. Pretty darn close. There you go. And then uh, maybe 10% here. So if I were to say, you know, then you then you could do this later. Uh, not not this later. Then then when you get to the actual drawing, you could take these values and use them as inputs to uh, keep going with your drawing. Okay. Just spilled some water on myself. Nasty. Come on, B. Alright, so what's next? Do, 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 it crashed. That's what's next. B and C. Stay with me. Alright. Zoom out. Negative shapes. People might have heard of them. I don't know if you're using them. What time is it? Oh man, we ran out of time. Shoot. I will cover these negative shapes really quick for you. And then uh, we'll close out the stream. Final, final thoughts. I hope you guys like the music. I hope I'm not overbearing. Tool number four, negative shapes. Negative shapes are the spaces outside of the main silhouettes. Learning to see negative shapes is like putting on another pair of glasses that immediately identifies mistakes in proportion and accuracy. Guys, this is how you use it. Let's do this together. On the source material, try to ignore the forms of the main subject and actively look at shapes that make up the surrounding areas. So let's zoom in. We have three other tools that we've used, plumb lines, angles, and distances, right? Let's try to draw these negative shapes onto the image. I know I'm running out of time, so I'm going to just use the image that we see here. Uh, hopefully next time I won't have any streaming problems and I can get to it quickly. So let's go up here for a second. There are a couple plumb lines here there's plumb lines here here and even here so like if we scroll down to this lady playing soccer notice that there's a negative shape here now or right between her leg or right between the elbow and her arm we're using the same same areas that we've 
indicated with the plumb lines and angles and using the negative shapes to build on top of that. It's very important that you do this vital, man. You, you can't, it's like breathing air. You have to do it this way, according to Ruben Laura, because you're building a cage. If you start putting these uh, shapes somewhere else, like I know it makes sense to put one here, but did you identify a plumb line? Do you even have an angle at that spot? <laughs> I have a fly in my face. If you don't have that, then don't don't put it there for now. If you can find it, please. When you when you have um, all of this together, it's gonna look like this. This is you. This is something that you created yourself. Because someone else looking at uh, the rock that I'm building will not have the same uh, some same plumb lines. The more you do this, the faster you're gonna get. And you're going to build these cages for yourself. Um, he's going to call it scaffold, which is totally fine. When you have the scaffold, you can draw on top of it. You can look at it from side to side and then just sketch it. And create your more confident lines on top. This is just another way of you know, understanding your drawing and moving forward. Uh, Ruben, Laura challenges us to do an upside down drawing unfortunately i ran out of time but definitely uh use the links that i've put in the chat to try some of this stuff out i think that uh, about wraps up the duplication you know four parts plumb lines angles distances and negative shapes yep let's see what else i got uh, streaming schedule I did post it here I need to update the links just ignore the meetup I need to replace this with uh, my twitch channel this is the streaming schedule it's already on twitch so you guys will see it there Monday to uh, Tuesday and then I get a day off on Wednesday that's fair right We'll see you guys back on Wednesday, uh, th Thursday, and then uh, Friday to do the diet stuff. Um, I want to do some other stuff like rock studies. I'm still doing those, I'm trying to get up to 300 from, and also inspired from not so it's inspired by uh, FZD school, and uh, they want me to do many rock studies for a few months until I feel comfortable with them. So that's all I'm about. Uh, hopefully this video was useful to you, the stream, and I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, I'm also doing this for myself so I can grow. So, you know, you guys, uh, you, you're cool. So please uh, continue joining, coming back if you like the material and you know, let's try to grow together. That's that's what this is, community. There's so many of these communities, so if mine appeals to you, let's let's grow this and become prolific together. Alright? Alright. So I'll see you guys later. We gotta go to work, right? Stream starting soon, ending stream. I gotta work on these.